Alright folks, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to uh, take a given molarity and a given volume and calculate the number of grams of the solute. So let's get started. Now, when you do these molarity problems, uh, you need to keep some things in mind. You need to keep in mind that this big M, okay, which they're showing you here, stands for the number of moles over the number of liters. Okay. Now the number of moles is for the solute, the number of liters is for the uh, solution, the solvent. Okay. Now, just keep that in mind the whole time that you're doing this. Now, I have found out the best way to work these problems is to always start with the given volume. Don't start with the molarity. Always start with the given volume. Especially the way that I want to show you how to work these uh, using uh, dimensional analysis or stoichiometry, whichever one you prefer to call it. So uh, let's get started. Start with the volume. Uh, take the uh, 250 uh, milliliters. Uh, I'm assuming that that points there because they meant 250.0 milliliters. Take it and automatically convert it to liters. So put it over one. I know that uh, there is 1,000 milliliters and guess what? That's right, one liter. Now, the problem is I've got this number here, this 0 0.0125 molarity of AgNO3. Well, that's really not a problem to have uh, that molarity of silver nitrate. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, take this and rewrite it like this 0 0.0125 moles of AgNO3 over 1 liter because that will allow us to use it as a conversion factor in this next step. Notice that you have liters here so we need liters down here and sure enough there's liters right here. So in 1 liter of this problem we have 0 0.0125 moles of the silver nitrate. Now, the problem said how many grams. So if this is moles, I've got to keep going. So we'll do one more step. If this is the first time you've written moles down here, you'll have one mole of AgNO3. What's the molar mass of that? Well, it's that 169.87 grams of Ag and O3. Now, we need to uh, punch that in our handy dandy cheater later. I also cheat a later. <laughs> but they're a big, a big help. That's 250 times 0 0.0125 uh, times 169.87. That gives me uh, 530.84375. Then I'm going to divide that by the only number I've got down here, which is 1,000. When I do that, that gives me the following. 0 0.5308475. Now, if you look, I've got uh, four sig figs, which I believe they accidentally left off the zero there. I'm not sure, but I'm assuming they did because they wrote a decimal there. So that's four sig figs, and this is three sig figs. So my answer is going to have three sig figs. Uh, zero point five three zero. Look to the right; that can round. And so my answer is going to be zero point five three one. And my units, if you look, will be grams of silver nitrate. And that's how you take a uh, molarity calculation using your favor to find out how many grams of the solute that you have. Well, I hope this helps and good luck with it. Just watch it a few times and you should have it down pat. Bye guys.